Hello everyone, it's Steven the Calculator Guy, and today we're going to talk all things Harmony. At least we're going to do a crash course to the basics of Harmony. So we've been talking quite a bit in the other videos about Phantom that Harmony is an up-and-coming chain that's getting a money market and that's probably going to see a lot of influx of funds, uh, and that could be the next big place for farmers as well as other protocols. Um, that is not to say that Phantom is a place you should leave. Phantom has a bunch of stuff happening, a bunch of new protocols. Uh, please follow FTM Alerts either on Twitter or on YouTube. They do all things Phantom and they're really, really good. Uh, it's run by Austin. Big shout out to him. He's fantastic. Don't know the guy, but love his work. So, first let's look at Tranquil Finance. Tranquil is a balancer clone and it is a money market, which means that you can supply things and you can borrow against the things you supply uh, in order to get APY and then in order to have some money to go play with. Now, please do not borrow anything but stable coins or you may get wrecked. So if you borrow a one wrapped Bitcoin and then the price of Bitcoin goes up, now what you borrowed is more. And if you use that Bitcoin, now you have to pay back more money because what you borrowed has increased in value. Uh, so unless you're planning to short what you're borrowing, then please only borrow uh, stable coins. That's just a word of wisdom. Um, I, I almost want to recommend only collateralizing your uh, stable coins as well, but you know, you do you and you know, be responsible with your own money. But this is a money market, so it's a place to borrow and lend and get some APY on both of those things. Um, you know, you can just park your Bitcoin here for 10% APY. That's amazing, right? Uh, so one thing to consider. There, I have already made a video on how to get a Harmony wallet, but I'll show you the super easy way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off of Harmony, just so I can show you. Let's go to good old faithful Phantom. I do still love the Phantom Network. And I will X my Harmony, which does not delete your funds or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to go to DeFi Kingdoms, because that's one of the things we're going to talk about next. DeFi Kingdoms, believe it or not, this game-looking interface is actually one of the biggest swaps uh, and exchanges and DEXs on the Harmony network. Uh, I apologize for the beeping. People are coming home from work, and I live in an area where a lot of people work in blue-collar jobs. So, you'll click Start Playing. Uh, you'll pick your avatar, whatever your avatar is. Uh, you'll click Link to MetaMask. Click to connect to Harmony Network. Uh, allow site to switch network. Absolutely. It's going to say, do you want to add the Harmony Network? And you're going to say, yeah, you do. Uh, and sure, switch network. It's going to Harmony anyways. So here we are. This is, this is DeFi Kingdoms. We have professions, portal, bank, tavern, marketplace, gardens. If you want to buy any big coins on Harmony, you're going to go to the market. I guess if you zoom in too far, you go somewhere. Uh, gardens is for farming, as you might have expected. But you go to the marketplace, you go to the trader, and then it's just a basic swap. So here are all the things you can buy and sell. Oh, look, I got some wrapped one uh, and some miss. If you may know what I'm doing with that, if you're if you're wise, uh, or if you're you know on the cutting edge of the, what's going on in the markets, um, I may make a video about that later. Uh, it is a risky investment, so I don't necessarily want to drop that alpha, but I might. So anyways, this is a nice place to do your swaps. Um, you can also buy Jewel. Now, Jewel has been doing ridiculous things. When I first looked at DeFi Kingdoms, I thought, man, this is way overvalued. It's like, I think, over a billion already. Uh, I was like, there's no way this can be kept up. And, you know, there's a locking period, and people don't usually like locking periods, but a lot of people feel that they're super early. Druid's over here. Um, you can... This is where you could create a pool or deal with your pool, probably take your pool money out. Uh, go back to the map. There's also professions and NFTs associated with that, but I'm not really interested in any of that. And if you're interested in NFTs, by all means, go on to the DeFi Kingdoms Discord and look at all the NFT stuff going on and, you know, get your character, level up your whatever's. Uh, you do you. Me, I'm in it for the swaps. I'm in it for the, the gardens, right? LPs are awesome. Uh, and then they're, they have good liquidity in their swapping. So this is pretty much where that stuff's going to happen. Now, I, this, I'm going to be frequenting the gardens. I'm going to be in the marketplace. That's basically it. If this ever actually gets gamified and turns into a metaverse, that would be really cool because then you could literally walk over to the marketplace or walk over to the garden and do your farming and trading. Uh, granted, a lot of us are adults and don't really have time for gaming. 
um, and are probably just utilizing this for financial reasons. But it's still neat, and I think metaverses are um, a burgeoning uh, area of interest in the crypto world. Okay, so let me let me go from like responsible places to the more degenerate places. The next place I want to go is uh, sort of tell you how to get your address. So I've added my my blockchain. Um, KuCoin is the way that I would send one to my address, but you need your Harmony address to do that. Here's how you get it. You go to explorer.harmony.one, uh, enter your address, whatever it may be, copy. You'll paste it right here, and you'll see your address, but you want it as a Harmony address, as a one address. There you go. So you get that. That's the address you'll copy and send one to from KuCoin or from wherever else you can offload your uh, your one coin, which is the proprietary coin of Harmony blockchain, onto your wallet. I know I'm talking kind of fast. This is a crash course introduction into Harmony. This is not a very detailed uh, look at any one of these protocols. That's coming later when I have more time. Um, I just, you know, anyone interested in Harmony, I want to give them sort of what's available at the moment. And there's a lot more than, than, than what I'm going to be able to show you, but here's what I can show you right now. Okay, so explore.harmony.one, this helps you get your one address. Uh, if you send funds from a MetaMask to another MetaMask uh, via the Harmony network, then you can use either the one address or the Met or the Ox Ethereum Harmony address. Both will work, both are totally fine. Okay, cool. Uh, so, next thing is let's look at Farmers Only. You know me, I like swaps, right? Farmers Only is a really good one. Um, don't want to jinx it, but they essentially they're kind of like Liquid Driver, where they look at other uh, swaps and they sort of give you additional incentive on top of that. But what I really like is uh, it's auto compounded, or it seems to be auto compounded at least, because everything that I have in here, I don't have to claim this. It's been automatically pushed back into my wallet. So I'm in the vaults to do that. I'm sure if you went to the farms, you'd have to harvest and reinvest, but. So all of these are actually on the Artemis uh, on the Artemis launchpad swap liquidity pool sort of thing that we're going to look at. Um, and so I'm in the one Mies because I'm going to utilize both those coins probably today for something. Uh, and you know the daily APR is really good. Um, so that's where I'm at, right? It seems like a good place to be right now. And also, I'm pretty, I'm short term bullish on Mies because if they become an effective launch pad on Harmony for some new projects, I think they could do really well. Uh, but not financial advice, right? Um, they could definitely tank. Another launch pad could pop up that has better whatevers. Uh, so this is, you know, uh, look at the pools. Right, so they have the Auto Fox automatic restaking, which is awesome. I love it. One percent AP or one percent ROI, and it's it's auto reinvested. So you plant your fox here, and it just grows naturally. You don't have to restake, which is cool. I like, I love auto staking mechanisms. Go to the farms. Here you have the fox farm. Great APR. Uh, it, it's too bad this isn't auto. This will probably you'll have to restake, but you can do that in the in the pool. Uh, these ones, these are all these different farms. You'll see, ooh, uh, this is the only one that I think is um, not a fox pairing, uh, but still pretty good. But look at that deposit fee, 5%, which is pretty steep. Uh, the APR is 149, but I don't know um, how long that would last, so I don't love that Deposit fee. Also, apparently, it's working through Sushi Swap, so maybe that's where the deposit fee comes from. Uh, but, anyways, Farmers Only has been doing really well. The first big swap, I will say, came from Viper. This was like the first one on the scene. It looks, if you're familiar with the Polygon chain, this setup will look very familiar to you. Uh, most of the swaps and dexes on Polygon are copies of this exact framework. But Viper was early, and Viper did a lot of great things for the Harmony Network early on, so you know, kudos to them. We don't need the chart. Uh, we'll go over to pools, and you can look at the pools, and you can add liquidity there. Um, sometimes this takes a while to, to populate. We can look at staking. 
Uh, it looks like they have a bridge. I'm imagining this is like the other clones of this, and you can only bridge the native token Viper and nothing else. So if you want to do that, but there are so many other bridges available now that, you know, back in the day I would have loved that feature. Now it just seems like a, a feature that's not necessary. Um, okay, so they have a lot of these. Uh, Luna and one, that's pretty cool. 167% APR. Uh, that's great. It's really good. I like Luna. I like one. I'm bullish on both these chains. I think these are these two are up and coming, even though Luna's obviously already very successful. Um, so just some things to look at. Uh, I think X Viper is like a staked form of Viper, so this would be kind of cool. Maybe you could collateralize your Viper, get X Viper, and then uh, pull it with one for a pretty good APR. So that's you know some cool things you can do there. I'm not going deep into anything, but just looking around. Uh, let's let's skip over Venom Swap for a second because this swap looks questionable and I uh, eh. you know no no one to say no. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go from the more trusted things to the more degenerate things. Um, also, let's look at the farms really quick because so I've looked at the farms from Fox, looked at the farms from Viper Swap. I would be remiss if I didn't look at the farms from DeFi Kingdoms. So you go to the Druid, you talk to him. Here are all the swaps, uh, the gardens, as they say. Jewel, Jewel is the native token of DeFi Kingdoms. It has gone up dramatically. Uh, and if you want to pair these, you know, you can see that the APR, not APY, APR is absurdly high, but there's a lockup period. So I'll have to do a video completely on just DeFi Kingdoms, but it's really important to understand the lockup period before you invest in any of these because you won't immediately be able to get your money out. Uh, or at least not your rewards. I'm sure you can get your initial out, but you can't get your re rewards out. Um, so after you get past all the jewels, then you can get to the other uh, the other protocols. But you're still going to get rewarded in jewel, and that's important. Um, I think auto compounding would be very difficult because of the lockup mechanism, but I can't say for sure. Because uh, I, I don't pull here yet. And then you would go to the clan to claim whatever you want. I have no I have nothing pulled here. Because I don't like lockup periods, even though they can be very profitable. Um, I want to be nimble uh, with my DEX experiences. Also, as you know, I don't like proprietary tokens uh, for, for DEXs and swaps, even though this is also like a versioning metaverse, and even though this may turn to something very big, I do like limiting my exposure to these coins. Now, Jewel is done incredibly well. If you look at the Jewel price on CoinGecko, Jewel token price. Also, I think they have a collateralized version too, but 29 cents, uh, is that the right one? Is that DeFi Kingdom? No, that's not right. I think it should be around like two to, yeah, four dollars. All right, so let's look at the 90 day. Okay, so, oh, well maybe it is a good time to get in. Dumped, now it's totally coming back up. I kind of like this chart, to be honest. I know it doesn't, you might not think it's very bullish, but uh, if you look at, if you zoom in here, this is a clear uptrend, right? You're having higher highs and higher lows. Uh, and I like that a lot. What is that? Since, uh, since, really? This is from November 1st? Okay, so this is only the past eight days. Eh. Um, well, it's not an uptrend. There are many reasons for that. I think it's, you know, because of Tranquil, potentially, uh, and this being one of the very few options that people have. Um, so, there you go. Now let's get into the more degenerate stuff. Uh, the first one is Euphoria. Euphoria is a what? You can just look at it and you'll know as soon as you see it. They even copied the Phantom Cubes, or what I thought those were. Uh, so this is Euphoria. This is a time clone which is an ohm fork so it's on the harmony blockchain the only reason we're looking at it is because it is backed by and developed by the viper swap team which gives it some credibility in the space as viper swap was one of the very first swaps on harmony so uh, the apy is not incredible which is actually pretty bullish for it in my opinion um, the tvl 14 million it's pretty good the market cap, 20 million, pretty good. It's already, I mean, I think it stealth launched yesterday at $4. It's 100x already. Bots usually buy all of it up 
which is why stealth launches can be kind of garbage. Um, so anyways, here it is. Uh, for what it's worth, I probably won't be investing in it, um, even though it could be a good investment. Who knows? Uh, but it's just, I don't... I'm not, a, I'm not a huge user of ViperSwap, and because I'm not a huge user of ViperSwap, um, I don't really know the team, and, you know, 100x in one day, uh, I worry that those initial holders, at any given point, could, poof, dump it. And I don't want to be on the, on the receiving end of that. That doesn't mean it might not be successful. If you're already in this and it's doing well for you, congratulations, I'm happy for you. Uh, I'm just saying that this isn't where I'm going to park my money right now. So let's look at... Artemis really quick. So Artemis is a launch pad. Uh, their native token is MIS, MIS. Um, they've already launched, I think, one protocol before this. Uh, we'll just open up the chart. Yeah. So you can see basically what happens is there's some sort of IDO. Uh, it launches, people dump their coins. On the IDO, it launches, people dump their coins. Uh, and, you know, rinse, wash, repeat. Same thing with all launch coins. After a big launch, people people unlock their coins and dump them because they don't really want them. They just had their funds locked up because that's how IDOs work. So again, IDOs work by you lock your proprietary tokens up uh, for a certain amount of time to, to participate in um, an early purchasing of coins mechanism before it goes onto the main market. And then you can unlock and you can dump those MIS tokens back. Uh, same with BSC pad, same with all the other pads, like, for some reason, are leaving my mind. Um, but just keep that in mind. But what else does this have? Well, it has incubators. What are incubators? Well, if you look at them, you can probably tell what they are. They're pools, right? Uh, or they're things where you can add. So this is a liquidity pair. This is a single side stake. This is a single side, single side, uh, liquidity, liquidity, right? And so here are the APRs, which are really, really good. Uh, but and here's what you earn. So the cool thing about this is you'll earn the native token with the pair. So, and you can also apply for your coin to be part of this. There's also the uh, Elysium, which, you know, you might get the the Artemis Elysium sort of what is that Rome uh, kind of vibe. Artemis being, I think, a demigod, maybe. Uh, Elysium being, like, the heaven. But, so you have, this is good, right? APR for stable coins. I like that. Uh, no deposit fee, which I really like. So just keep that stuff in mind, you know. It's another option, another thing to look at. Um, Mies pairs are clearly super high right now, maybe a little bit overheated. Hopefully they're not printing off too much Mies. I don't like hyperinflationary coins. I would like to minimize my exposure to these. I think a lot of other people would too, which is why, you know, after the IDOs end, big dump. All right, which leaves me with an IDO that uh, I'm going to talk about, not recommend. I don't recommend things. Um, I just want to talk about it. It is the reverse coin. If you follow me on Twitter, if you're a Patreon, you've already seen how to do this. Um, so I've been talking about this in my Discord, which is now live. Uh, it's If you want to find that link, it's in my Twitter. I'll also try to remember to link it down below, but I don't want our Discord to get too big too fast because it might get congested. Uh, so maybe just try to find it in my Twitter. Um, you know, earn your way in there. Be tough. Uh, it's also on my Patreon, so if you're a patron, you're, you already have that link. Uh, we're talking about reverse. So what is reverse, and why am I even sort of interested in it? Uh, so reverse is, let me pull up their Discord real quick. Um, word of the wise, if you're interested in a protocol, join their Discord. That's where you're going to get all the alpha. That's where you're going to get all the early stuff. Uh, and that's where you're going to be able to talk to the developers and talk to the representatives to see like, hey, is this a good protocol or is this going to be a rug and a bank run? So I did that. I actually set up an Ask Me Anything with one of the uh, team members, and it was the only reason that I became continuously interested. At first, I was totally not on board with this, but after doing the AMA, I am a little bit more interested, for sure. Uh, okay, so reverse is kind of like an ohm-like fork, however, it's not a reserve token, and it's not going to have the exact same mechanisms with bonding. Uh, it's a little bit more, I think, probably going to be a little bit more like Temple Dao in terms of tokenomics, not in terms of the absurd hoops you have to jump through in order to participate. Uh, so 
the APY and APR may be a little bit lower, but it does have a, a uh, rebasing mechanism, uh, and it will also have a treasury. And the reverse protocol is made by the same developers that made Artemis. Uh, so the developers are doxxed, which I like. The developers have other projects, which I like. One of the developers had received a big grant from Harmony, which I like. Not for that particular protocol. Not for this particular protocol, but for another protocol. So all those things are good signs for me. Uh, Elysium has been audited. Not Elysium. Artemis has been audited, which I like. So for me, the likelihood of reverse being a rug is low. So... Uh, it's an IDO, right? It hasn't launched yet. You'll need to stake some amount of MIS on the Artemis pad. Uh, and once you stake or lock up that MIS, then you'll have the option to send wrapped one to a contract and you'll send it to the contract. And then based off how much you send, you'll get reverse tokens distributed to you. And if there were none left over, you'll get a refund on your wrapped one. That's the super, super basic idea. Uh, there's a full instructional guide on my Patreon, um, but I like to give a disclaimer, like not financial advice. This could totally tank, even though it has a decent docs team. Uh, there are so many ways that projects could go wrong. I just, you know, it's one of the more interesting projects on the Harmony chain, and I wanted to give you a Harmony overview. So let's do a full recap. Also, uh, there's, I think, multiple instances of the instructions on how to participate in the reverse on the Discord. So, Tranquil, Money Market, Lending and Borrowing, uh, DeFi Kingdoms, one of the biggest swaps, and NFT stuff, Gamified, DeFi, and Pools. Euphoria, one of the first big uh, Ohm forks, or time forks on the Harmony blockchain. Also, same developers as Viperswap, also working with Viperswap. Uh, they actually did a really decent write-up of their documentation that I recommend reading. I'll try to link that. Um, Viperswap, one of the earliest swaps, good for LPs, good for pools. Uh, has, a, has a mechanism for bridging. Uh, Fox, farmers only, another, I think, pretty decent place. Oh, one of the developers for reverse was a developer for Fox. Um, so that was also pretty, was a, was a good sign, in my opinion. Um, Artemis is a launch pad for IDOs that you don't require KYC for, which as an American, you know, I certainly like. Not saying I'll participate because I don't know what the legal ramifications of saying that would be. Uh, Harmony One is a place where you can find your one address as well as your address by switching from Harmony to ETH. See? Harmony? ETH. Harmony? ETH. KuCoin is a place where you can buy one and send it to your MetaMask. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's all I wanted to talk about for the basics of Harmony. Uh, I am not monetized on this channel, even though now I know how to become monetized on this channel, and I'm still sort of fighting that internal battle, because uh, I don't want to give you guys ads. Um, even if I do become monetized, not, it would have nothing to do with what I talk about. But I do kind of like being my own person and not having that. So, uh, if you do want to support me, um, Patreon is a place to do that. Uh, believe it or not, I do post things there. Didn't think I'd have the bandwidth, but I've actually found it a nice place to answer questions, a nice place to sort of post my thoughts, my early thoughts before I end up making videos. It's much easier to post than it is to make videos, believe it or not. Uh, so if you were there, you already heard about Reverse, you already got the a the whole AMA text is there, um, the whole is an instructional how-to there, um, and then like some other swaps that I'm just looking at that are pretty new or coming out are there. Uh, I don't care what, you, I don't, like, your, your contribution size can be anything. Also, I'm going to put all my calculators there soon, so even the ones that are paid calculators, I'm going to drop them there for anyone to use, and that's it. So, uh, link, hopefully, in the description. I put the wrong link a different time. Thank you for whoever pointed that out. I appreciate that. Uh, all right. Be smart. This is a totally sort of newish blockchain with a bunch of money that's going to be coming into it. 
be safe, and as I say, be smafe. Have a wonderful rest of your day.